restoring that the essentially that by do it, by restoring this funding we're restoring the other professional development which right. presumably we right. couldn't pay for right we, we had to pay. drain that account by uh, by six thousand dollars right okay. yeah other questions on Pankov? I guess I have one more. When we put the, um, when Alan helped free, froze the insert train staff development and supplies, being that staff development is so important, is anyone having to, I'm assuming that staff either took care of their requirements um, for their certificate by themselves or are they re, um, asking for reimbursement? For this right. year, how is that working? You, you, you kept the course reimbursement line there, which helped. But this year, since the tap has been turned on for professional development, uh, we're, we're doing it again. And we, we have partnerships, too, with, with SEEP, which would really help. And just to follow up on what Jeff said, the SEEP grants come from within, too. It comes from individual teachers and things that come up during, during the school year. So you get, I hate to use the term, but you get a synergy from it. You get a lot out of that. And the Cape Elizabeth has traditionally supported that as a significant uh, percentage of the budget. And uh, the teachers, I think that's one of the reasons teachers stay here, because of that professional development. Thank you. No other questions? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your kind comments about the volunteer program. That has helped sustain us, too, through the tight budget years. And uh, Kate's description is accurate. It is an army of people in and out. And I was shocked to hear that some people, some schools don't welcome parents. We really depend on it. Thanks. There are also a, 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 a many, many non-parent volunteers yeah. in, in that army. I know um, community members who are not parents who are giving their time. It's, it, it really is remarkable. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great thing to do. Yep. Thank you, Tom. Yep. Uh, so, I probably should have just summed up after each one of these accounts to ensure that we were essentially arriving at a tentative agreement. Um, and I, I didn't do that, so I don't know. Um, I think that's what we've done, but I know there were some open issues. Uh, I'll just, Kathy, for example, had a, a line item in the high school budget or, or a revenue item in the high school budget that should, mm -hmm. should, like, should, should like to see change. I don't know how we uh, want to approach sort of addressing that kind of thing. Uh, well, I think you've got tentative agreement on all of these accounts with the exception of health services. Where we're um, waiting for something. For, right. Right. Uh, so uh, that's what I have in my notes yeah. too. But so unless um, I mean that, that just means you're saying these for the time being are good, and we're going to focus on the big ticket items starting at our next meeting, with the exception of health services. And you can discuss Kathy's idea when we do the three-year plan on revenue because that's that's part of the revenue picture okay. at eight thousand dollars. So okay. Is the, is the board comfortable with that? Sure. The only question I have is I, I, we, we did raise, but I didn't see any consensus on, unless Ken gave us our consensus, uh, about underfunded, possible underfunded extracurricular activities at the school. Is that something that we were going to have Jeff come to you about, or did we decide not to do it? I didn't hear any decision on that. I heard that, heard that raise, but I didn't see us make a decision on it. We can discuss, um, you know, how you want to proceed with that. The, the only point I made was, you know, if you want to add <clears throat> money to the budget, uh, I, I want crack at uh, how that looks in priority. And you can, and I use debate as an example. You know, that might not be at the top of my priority, putting money back in. So that's the only comment I made. As far as unfunded thing, you know, we, we can talk about it at our next meeting, um, some things that are underfunded. And at some point in time, you can ask me, if you had more money, where would you put the money back in, as opposed to asking the principals? I think it's much better to ask the superintendent that question, because the superintendent has a K through 12 perspective. Tom knows what the priorities are 
at Pong Po, if Steve knows what they are at the middle school and Jeff knows what they are at the high school, but the superintendent knows what's the K through 12 priority. Does that make sense? Uh, it does for new programs. I guess my question was, what are we going to do about underfunded programs? Are we going to just drop that one, or you and Jeff? Yeah, I'd like to drop it, but if you guys want to discuss it, we'll, well discuss I, it. I <laughs> guess we, I don't think we have a resolution. I've raised it. Um, I thought Jeff would talk to you. I, mean, I, I think the resolution that Ken is proposing is that if the board believes for any reason throughout this, the course of this workshop process that there is insufficient funds in the budget that the board ought to advise the superintendent of that belief and that the superintendent will will come back to the board with his recommendation for okay, okay. How, to, how do I how raise to, that because I have heard that there may be some underfunded extracurricular how do I raise it so we ask him to take a look at it I think we that we, we're going to arrive at that uh, by the end of the, our workshop process, we're going to have to arrive at a sense of whether we believe this is a, an appropriate budget or whether the budget is too low or too high. And then if, if, if we arrive at one of the latter two, we would ask Ken for his uh, recommendation on where additional funds would be taken out or, or put back into the budget. So when, when he summarizes, or you summarize that we're all okay with all three schools, that doesn't moot my question about whether or not some, some extracurricular activities are unfund, underfunded. Can, can I make a suggestion? I'm mindful we've gone through maybe 15% uh, of the total dollars in the budget. So I think Ken's point is when we look at salaries and benefits that are 80% of the budget and some of the revenue items that you had mentioned, David, will have a broader perspective on what, what's the, what are total areas we want to pursue and then we can prioritize, you know, in terms of what warrants follow-up work. That's fine with me. I just don't want it foreclosed, which is what I heard. T tentative agreement. I think in Ken's email, you know, tentative, that nothing's completed. We're not approving any specific area tonight, so if we go through the whole process, David, I think you'll have a lot of your, an opportunity for us to look at all the different questions you have and then um, prioritize what warrants follow up. Okay, I, I didn't get that email. Is that how we're going to, so when you say we, we're all okay with those school, this is the, we still have the chance to raise these issues at the end? You weren't going to ask any questions tonight. <laughs> what happens well, to that if I idea? Again, an answer for my asked this question four times, maybe I would stop asking him. But I, you need to read your emails because he, <laughs> he did. Ken did outline and, this pretty well. Uh, okay. There you go. Thank you, but I don't get my emails where I am now. All right. We will satisfy your need, David, to discuss unfunded programs. Thank you. That, okay. That answers my question. Right. That took ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that I know that took 10 minutes. I think that brings us to the end of tonight's meeting. And I just wanted to mention one thing at our next budget workshop is where we start hitting the big ticket items, but there'll be a need for a short business portion, which I know is different from how you've operated in the past, but we've got to award the um, boiler contracts and the asbestos. So there will be a short business portion to that meeting. May I ask a question about that meeting? Um, Pauline had. Um, mentioned that it may have been moved to the Jordan Conference Room from the Community Center. Do you, does anyone, is, that's the one next week, is that correct? Yeah, we're looking for a location for that because I think there's something going on in the high school library where we normally have it. Or is that so. the last meeting is in the high school library actually? So that's the meeting that may be changed, so. Okay, so everybody check your emails. We'll, we'll confirm and we'll send out an agenda for that meeting okay. in advance. Great. Thank you. Thank you.